Recently, our church marked its 15th anniversary, and in doing so, Nancy and I were presented with this beautiful book of memories that some sweet people had put a lot of work into collecting. We were really blessed by it. It included many photos of our church family members, and we do think of our church as family. Uh, it included lots of recollections on their part of things through which the Lord has taken them, uh, memories together, lots of them fun and funny, lots of laughs and laughter, but also recollections of some of the hard things through which they have been. And Nancy and I were very moved to read these um, memories, to read these testimonies. You, you might call them uh, tributes. We were very blessed and very encouraged. I, I, I'm not deserving of, of any uh, such recognition, but with, I was very encouraged to to read all that everybody had written. But the thing that inspired me the most and the things for which I'm most thankful uh, were the constant references to the importance of teaching and right, to uh, right doctrine and sound theology. When I grew up, I grew up under good expository preaching. So I, I knew what it was like. And when I prepared for the ministry at seminary, the importance of, of sound doctrine, good theology, uh, understanding the whole Bible together. That was really hammered home to me. And so when I became a pastor, my prayer was that the, the good teaching would be a, a hallmark of my ministry. And while I, I don't think of myself as a great teacher, I have tried to faithfully represent God's Word. And I was so gratified to see this emphasis reflected in folks' comments in that um, book. Um, I don't think that topical or issues-oriented preaching is wrong. and In fact, I think at times it's helpful and, and necessary. But a steady diet of topical preaching is like a steady diet of chips and cookies. You know, we may really like it, but it's not good for us. What's good for us is to be steeped in sound doctrine or right theology, uh, an appreciation especially of the sovereignty of God in all things, in good times and in bad, that people be prepared to weather the storms of life as they are called. At Bear Creek, we elders think of ourselves as swim instructors. It's our job to prepare people for deep water and, and um, you know, big waves before they come. It's not a question of if, only when in life are we going to face such challenges. And people need to be prepared in advance because the time to learn to swim is not when the boat is sinking. So we take that approach and are constantly hammering home the message that God has everything under control. And not only does he have everything under control, he has everything under control uh, according to his perfect purposes. He has a plan, uh, like Ephesians 1 says. He has, a, he has a plan, and the plan is to bring himself glory and honor, as we would expect of so wonderful a God. And knowing that wonderful God, that's what brings us real joy and happiness, and not only just in the span of this life, but in the life to come. And so focusing on those things helps us to remember what's really important in life and where our joy is going to come from, not from people, not from circumstances. Inevitably, those disappoint. Real joy comes from the, real happiness comes from the Lord. And I just feel incredibly blessed, undeservingly blessed, of a congregation full of Jesus lovers who also love his word and are ready to spend a lot of time in it. Um, we're over 40 weeks, for example, right now in the Gospel of John, and we're not even close to finishing it. We took years going through Romans, months in a little book like Ephesians, a little book like Philippians, but... but this congregation, they don't complain. They're, they're eager to spend more time in the Word. They know that the Word is where they become better acquainted with the, with the Lord. And so I'm really grateful to, to the Lord for blessing Nancy and me and the, the, the leaders at Bear Creek with a congregation full of people who love the Word and want to get to know it um, and its author better.